Prologue Embracing Change In a world where change is the only constant, the ability to adapt and thrive amidst uncertainty has never been more crucial. The concept of resilience, often envisioned as the capacity to bounce back from adversity, is the bedrock upon which this book is founded. However, building resilience, thriving in times of change, goes beyond the traditional understanding of resilience. It reframes resilience not just as a means of surviving but as a vital skill for thriving in our rapidly evolving world. Change, with its dual facets of challenge and opportunity, permeates every aspect of our lives. From personal upheavals to global shifts, the winds of change spare no one. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and succumb to the pressure, yet amidst these trials, resilience emerges as a beacon of hope. This book is a testament to the strength and flexibility inherent in each of us, waiting to be unleashed. Our journey through the pages ahead is designed to equip you with the tools and insights needed to cultivate a resilient spirit. We will explore the foundational pillars of resilience, from emotional intelligence and the significance of social connections to the indispensable role of physical well-being. As we delve into the intricacies of facing adversity, adapting to change, and building a resilient mindset, you will discover that resilience is not an innate trait but a skill that can be honed. The path to resilience is both personal and universal, marked by individual struggles and collective experiences. By embracing change and viewing challenges as catalysts for growth, we can all learn to navigate the uncertainties of life with grace and strength. This book invites you to embark on a transformative journey, one that will not only teach you how to survive in times of change but to thrive, with resilience as your guiding light. Welcome to Building Resilience, Thriving in Times of Change. Let the journey begin. Chapter 1 Understanding Resilience Defining Resilience Beyond Survival Resilience is a term that often conjures images of stoic endurance, the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. However, this conventional definition barely scratches the surface of what it truly means to be resilient. Beyond mere survival, resilience is the profound ability to flourish even in the face of adversity. It involves not just bouncing back but also growing from challenges, emerging stronger, more adaptable, and more resourceful. At its core, resilience represents a dynamic interaction between individuals and their environments, highlighting the capacity for human beings to adapt successfully to life's stressors and setbacks. This adaptation is not a passive process but an active journey of self-discovery, learning, and personal development. Resilient individuals are not defined by their circumstances but by their responses to those circumstances. They harness the power of their experiences, both positive and negative, to foster a sense of mastery, improve their coping strategies, and deepen their connection to the world around them. The essence of resilience extends beyond the individual. It encompasses the ability to maintain or regain mental health in the face of life's inevitable pressures. This broader perspective includes acknowledging and drawing on community resources, social support networks, and even cultural practices that contribute to a person's resilience. In this light, resilience is also a collective phenomenon, highlighting the importance of supportive relationships and environments in facilitating individual and communal well-being. Understanding resilience as more than survival invites a paradigm shift. It asks us to view adversity not as an obstacle to be merely overcome but as an opportunity for growth, learning, and transformation. This perspective empowers us to navigate life's complexities with courage and optimism, embracing the full spectrum of human experience as a source of strength and wisdom. In this chapter, we will explore the multifaceted nature of resilience, examining its biological and psychological underpinnings, and asserting its role as a skill that can be cultivated and nurtured through a growth mindset. By redefining resilience, we open the door to a deeper understanding of our capacity to thrive in the face of change, equipped with the knowledge that our greatest challenges can lead to our most profound achievements. The Biological and Psychological Foundations of Resilience Resilience is an intricate tapestry woven from both biological and psychological threads, each contributing to the fabric of our capacity to withstand and emerge strengthened from adversity. This section delves into the dual foundations of resilience, exploring how our genetic makeup, brain chemistry, and psychological processes collaborate to shape our responses to life's challenges. Biological Foundations of Resilience at the biological level, resilience is rooted in the complex interplay of genes and neurobiological processes. Genetics play a crucial role in determining our baseline susceptibility to stress and our innate capacity for resilience. Certain genetic variations can influence the production and regulation of neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, which are critical for mood regulation and stress response. 
However, the story of resilience is far from being solely written in our DNA. The concept of neuroplasticity, or the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life, is central to understanding resilience. This adaptability enables individuals to learn from experiences, develop new coping strategies, and recover from psychological trauma. The stress response system, involving the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA, axis, plays a pivotal role in how we react to stress. Resilient individuals tend to exhibit a more efficient regulation of this system, allowing for a quicker return to baseline after a stressor has been encountered. This efficient regulation is partly attributed to the body's ability to modulate cortisol levels, the so-called stress hormone, ensuring that the physiological responses to stress do not become chronic and detrimental to health. Psychological Foundations of Resilience while our biological makeup lays the groundwork for resilience, psychological factors are what truly shape our capacity to navigate through adversity. Cognitive and emotional processes such as perception, appraisal, and meaning-making are at the heart of resilience. How individuals interpret and make sense of stressors and adversity significantly influences their resilience levels. Resilient individuals tend to perceive challenges as manageable or even as opportunities for growth, rather than as insurmountable obstacles. This positive framing is a powerful psychological tool that shapes our emotional and behavioral responses to adversity. Self-efficacy, or the belief in one's ability to influence events and outcomes in one's life, is another critical psychological component of resilience. Individuals with high self-efficacy are more likely to take proactive steps in dealing with stressors and are less likely to be overwhelmed by adverse circumstances. Furthermore, adaptive coping strategies, such as problem-solving, seeking social support, and practicing mindfulness, are essential psychological skills that bolster resilience by providing effective mechanisms for dealing with stress. Emotional regulation, the ability to manage and modulate one's emotional state, is yet another cornerstone of psychological resilience. Being able to navigate one's emotional landscape ensures that individuals can maintain focus and composure in the face of challenges, allowing for more adaptive responses to adversity. The Interaction Between Biology and Psychology The interaction between our biological predispositions and psychological processes underscores the multifaceted nature of resilience. Epigenetics, the study of how our behaviors and environment can cause changes that affect the way our genes work, bridges the gap between these two foundations. Life experiences, particularly those involving stress and trauma, can lead to epigenetic changes that may either enhance or undermine resilience. This highlights the dynamic nature of resilience, suggesting that through positive psychological practices, we can potentially influence our biological stress response systems in a way that enhances our overall resilience. In conclusion, the biological and psychological foundations of resilience provide a comprehensive framework for understanding how we can withstand and grow from the challenges we face. This intricate interplay between our genetic makeup, brain chemistry, psychological perceptions, and coping mechanisms not only defines our capacity for resilience but also offers a roadmap for cultivating it. As we move forward, we will explore how resilience, viewed through the lens of a growth mindset, can be developed and strengthened as a skill, further enhancing our ability to thrive in the face of adversity. Resilience as a Skill, Growth Mindset the concept of resilience transcends the realm of innate traits to encompass a skill set that can be developed and nurtured over time. Central to this developmental approach is the adoption of a growth mindset, a term coined by psychologist Carol Dweck to describe the belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. This mindset contrasts sharply with a fixed mindset, where abilities are seen as static and unchangeable. The relationship between resilience and a growth mindset is profound, as it shapes how individuals perceive challenges, failures, and their own capacity for change. Cultivating Resilience Through Challenges At the heart of a growth mindset is the perception of challenges not as insurmountable obstacles but as opportunities for growth and learning. This perspective encourages resilience by motivating individuals to engage with difficulties, experiment, and persist in the face of setbacks. Instead of being deterred by failure, those with a growth mindset embrace it as a necessary step towards mastery and understanding. This approach to learning and development is essential for building resilience as it fosters adaptability, problem-solving skills, and perseverance. The Role of Effort and Persistence A growth mindset also underscores the importance of effort and persistence in the development of resilience. It promotes the idea that effort is a path to mastery rather than a sign of inadequacy. 
This belief empowers individuals to invest time and energy into their goals, even when progress seems slow or obstacles appear daunting. The resilience cultivated through this persistent effort enables individuals to navigate the ups and downs of personal and professional endeavors with confidence and tenacity. Feedback and learning from criticism Another key aspect of a growth mindset is the ability to receive and learn from feedback and criticism. Rather than viewing criticism as a personal attack or evidence of failure, individuals with a growth mindset see it as valuable information that can guide their learning and improvement. This openness to feedback is crucial for building resilience as it helps individuals identify areas for development, adapt their strategies, and enhance their skills and knowledge. The Neuroscience of Growth and Resilience Neuroscientific research supports the link between a growth mindset and resilience, showing that the brain is capable of remarkable plasticity and adaptation. Learning new skills and facing challenges can literally rewire the brain, strengthening neural pathways associated with problem-solving, emotional regulation, and positive thinking. This neuroplasticity is the biological foundation that makes the development of resilience possible, illustrating that with practice and persistence, individuals can cultivate a more resilient mindset. Developing a Resilient Growth Mindset Developing a resilient growth mindset involves several strategies, including setting realistic yet challenging goals, seeking out opportunities for learning and development, and reflecting on progress and setbacks with a constructive attitude. It also involves practicing self-compassion, recognizing that setbacks are part of the learning process, and maintaining a supportive network that encourages growth and resilience. In conclusion, understanding resilience as a skill highlights the transformative power of a growth mindset. By embracing challenges, persisting in the face of adversity, learning from criticism, and viewing effort as a pathway to mastery, individuals can cultivate resilience and navigate the complexities of life with strength and flexibility. This shift towards a growth mindset not only enhances personal and professional development but also contributes to a more resilient society, capable of facing future challenges with optimism and resilience. Conclusion as we conclude this chapter on understanding resilience, it's clear that resilience is far more than a static trait some are born with and others are not. It is a dynamic skill, deeply rooted in both our biology and our psychology, and most importantly, it is something that can be nurtured and developed over time. The journey through defining resilience, exploring its biological and psychological foundations, and recognizing its nature as a skill that can be cultivated, brings us to a critical juncture. Here, we stand on the threshold of transformation, armed with the knowledge that our responses to adversity are not predestined by our DNA but are shaped by our mindset and our actions. The journey towards resilience is marked by a continuous interaction between our genetic predispositions, our brain's capacity for change, and the psychological strategies we employ to face life's challenges. The development of a growth mindset emerges as a pivotal element in this journey, enabling us to see challenges not as threats but as opportunities for growth and learning. This perspective is not merely optimistic, it is grounded in the very fabric of our being, supported by neuroscientific research that underscores the plasticity of our brains and our incredible potential for adaptation and growth. As we venture into the next chapter, The Pillars of Resilience, we will build upon the foundational understanding developed here. We will delve into the essential components that fortify our resilience, emotional intelligence, social connections, and physical well-being. Each of these pillars represents a key area of focus for anyone looking to enhance their resilience. Emotional intelligence allows us to recognize and manage our emotions effectively, enabling us to navigate the emotional landscape of adversity with grace. Social connections offer support, perspective, and strength, reminding us that we do not face life's challenges in isolation. Lastly, our physical well-being provides the energy and health necessary to withstand and recover from the stressors we encounter. In embracing these pillars, we not only reinforce our capacity for resilience but also pave the way for a life characterized by growth, adaptability, and strength. The journey of building resilience is ongoing, a path of continual learning and adaptation. As we transition from understanding the underpinnings of resilience to exploring how to actively build and sustain it, remember that resilience is not merely about surviving the storms but learning how to dance in the rain. With the insights and strategies outlined in the upcoming chapters, we invite you to join us on this transformative journey. Together, we will explore how to cultivate a life of resilience, marked by an unwavering ability to thrive in the face of life's inevitable challenges and changes. Chapter 2 – The Pillars of Resilience As we transition from the foundational concepts of resilience explored in the first chapter, we now turn our focus to the structural supports upon which resilience is built. 
The Pillars of Resilience it examines three critical components, emotional intelligence, social connections, and physical well-being. Each of these pillars not only supports but also enhances our ability to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. They interweave to form a robust framework for resilience, allowing us to face adversity with confidence and emerge not just unscathed but fortified. At the forefront of these pillars is emotional intelligence EI, a term that encapsulates our ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions as well as to recognize, understand, and influence the emotions of others. Emotional intelligence is fundamental to resilience, serving as the keystone for effective stress management, empathy, and interpersonal relationships. It enables us to navigate the complexities of our emotional responses to stress and adversity, ensuring that we can maintain clarity and focus even in the face of challenges. By developing a deeper understanding of our emotional processes, we enhance our capacity to make informed, constructive decisions, foster positive relationships, and ultimately build a resilient mindset. In the following sections, we will explore how cultivating emotional intelligence, nurturing social connections, and maintaining physical well-being are essential practices for anyone seeking to strengthen their resilience. Each pillar offers unique insights and strategies for building a life characterized by adaptability, perseverance, and well-being. Join us as we delve deeper into these pillars, laying the groundwork for a resilient life capable of withstanding the tests of time and change. Emotional Intelligence, Recognizing and Managing Emotions Emotional intelligence EI, is the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. This concept, popularized by psychologist Daniel Goleman, involves a set of skills that enable individuals to recognize, understand, and manage their own emotions while also empathizing with the emotions of others. The ability to navigate the emotional landscape of oneself and others plays a crucial role in resilience as it impacts how we cope with stress, make decisions, and communicate in our personal and professional lives. The Importance of Emotional Intelligence in Resilience Emotional intelligence is foundational to developing resilience for several reasons. First, it enhances our ability to recognize and label our emotions accurately, which is a critical first step in managing stress and adversity. By understanding what we feel and why we feel it, we can better navigate our emotional responses to various situations, preventing emotions from overwhelming us and maintaining our mental focus and composure. Second, emotional intelligence allows for effective emotional regulation. This skill is vital in managing the intensity and duration of our emotional responses. Resilient individuals can soothe themselves during times of distress, bounce back from negative emotions more quickly, and channel emotions in productive ways. Emotional regulation also includes the ability to delay gratification and resist impulses that might lead to harmful behaviors, further contributing to resilience. Third, emotional intelligence fosters empathy, a critical component of building and maintaining strong, supportive relationships. Empathy enables us to connect with others, understand their perspectives and feelings, and respond appropriately. This social support network is a key element of resilience, providing emotional resources, advice, and encouragement during challenging times. Developing Emotional Intelligence Improving emotional intelligence involves several practices starting with self-awareness. This entails regular reflection on one's emotions and the situations that trigger them, which can be cultivated through mindfulness and journaling. Enhancing self-regulation involves techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, or cognitive behavioral strategies to manage emotional responses. To improve empathy, one can practice active listening and try to see situations from others' perspectives. The Impact of Emotional Intelligence on Life Outcomes The benefits of emotional intelligence extend beyond individual resilience. High EI has been linked to better relationships, improved leadership skills, higher academic and professional achievement, and overall life satisfaction. By recognizing the value of emotional intelligence and actively working to enhance it, individuals not only bolster their resilience but also set the stage for a more fulfilling and successful life. In sum, emotional intelligence is not just an innate trait but a skill set that can be developed and refined over time. Its role in recognizing and managing emotions is indispensable in the journey towards building resilience, enabling individuals to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and confidence. As we move forward to explore the next pillars of resilience, the interconnectedness of emotional intelligence with social connections and physical well-being will further highlight the holistic nature of cultivating resilience. Social Connections – The Role of Relationships in Building Resilience 
Pillar 2, Social Connection, is an integral component of building resilience, emphasizing the importance of relationships in our ability to withstand and recover from life's challenges. Human beings are inherently social creatures, and our connections with others play a crucial role in our mental, emotional, and physical well-being. These relationships provide support, comfort, and a sense of belonging, all of which are vital during times of stress and adversity. The Importance of Social Connections Social connections act as a buffer against the effects of stress, reducing the impact of negative events and accelerating recovery. The presence of strong, supportive relationships can enhance one's resilience by offering emotional support, practical assistance, and advice when facing challenges. Moreover, being part of a community or network provides a sense of security and belonging which can bolster self-esteem and contribute to a positive self-identity. The quality of these connections matters significantly more than the quantity. Deep, meaningful relationships that offer mutual understanding and empathy are particularly beneficial for resilience. These connections provide a safe space to express vulnerabilities, share feelings, and receive validation and encouragement. Strengthening Social Connections Building and maintaining strong social connections require effort and intentionality. It involves actively listening, showing empathy, and offering support to others, which in turn, strengthens our own social support network. Engaging in community activities, volunteering, and pursuing shared interests can also expand one's social network and foster connections with like-minded individuals. Communication plays a key role in nurturing relationships. Open, honest, and respectful communication builds trust and understanding, essential components of strong social bonds. Additionally, expressing gratitude and appreciation for others can deepen connections and enhance mutual respect and affection. The Impact of Social Connections on Resilience Social connections influence resilience in several ways. They provide emotional support during difficult times, helping to alleviate feelings of isolation and despair. Practical support from our network can also help us navigate challenges more effectively, whether it's through advice, sharing resources, or physical assistance. Moreover, observing and learning from the resilience of those within our social circle can inspire and motivate us to adopt similar coping strategies. Furthermore, social connections contribute to a sense of purpose and meaning in life. They can motivate us to persevere through challenges, not just for our own sake but also for the well-being of those we care about. This sense of purpose is a powerful component of resilience, driving us to overcome obstacles and emerge stronger on the other side. In conclusion, social connections are a fundamental pillar of resilience, providing the emotional, practical, and motivational support necessary to navigate life's adversities. By investing in our relationships and fostering a strong support network, we enhance our capacity to thrive in the face of challenges, underscoring the profound impact of social bonds on our ability to bounce back and grow from difficult experiences. As we continue to explore the pillars of resilience, the interconnectedness of social connections with emotional intelligence and physical well-being will further highlight the holistic approach required to build a resilient life. Physical well-being, the body-mind connection. The third pillar of resilience, physical well-being, underscores the indelible link between our physical health and our capacity to handle stress, recover from adversity, and ultimately, thrive in the face of challenges. This connection between body and mind is foundational to resilience, emphasizing that taking care of our physical health is not just about preventing or treating illness but about nurturing our overall resilience. Understanding the Body-Mind Connection the body-mind connection refers to the powerful ways in which our physical health and mental well-being influence each other. Research has consistently shown that physical activity, nutrition, sleep, and relaxation techniques can significantly impact our mental health, affecting our mood, stress levels, and cognitive function. Conversely, our mental state can influence physical health outcomes, affecting everything from our immune system's effectiveness to our risk for chronic diseases. The Role of Physical Activity Physical activity is a cornerstone of physical well-being and resilience. Regular exercise releases endorphins, often referred to as the body's natural mood elevators, which can reduce stress, alleviate anxiety, and improve overall mood. Beyond its immediate mood-enhancing effects, consistent physical activity contributes to long-term health benefits, including improved cardiovascular health, strengthened immune function, and reduced risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes and obesity. Nutrition and Resilience Nutrition plays a critical role in resilience by providing the body with the essential nutrients needed for energy, repair, and optimal functioning. 
A balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fats can improve mental clarity, energy levels, and emotional stability. Proper nutrition supports the brain's function, affecting our ability to cope with stress, make decisions, and maintain focus during challenging times. The importance of sleep. Sleep is another fundamental aspect of physical well-being closely tied to resilience. Quality sleep allows the body and mind to rest, recover, and rejuvenate. During sleep, our bodies repair tissues, consolidate memories, and regulate emotions. Lack of sleep, on the other hand, can lead to impaired cognitive function, increased stress levels, and decreased emotional regulation, significantly impacting our ability to respond resiliently to challenges. Relaxation techniques and stress management Relaxation techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, and mindfulness are valuable tools for managing stress and enhancing physical well-being. These practices can lower blood pressure, reduce chronic pain, improve sleep, and alleviate stress and anxiety. By incorporating relaxation techniques into our daily routines, we can strengthen the body-mind connection and bolster our resilience against life's stressors. Integrating physical well-being into everyday life Cultivating physical well-being and strengthening the body-mind connection involves making conscious choices about how we live our daily lives. This includes setting aside time for physical activity, making nutritious food choices, prioritizing sleep, and practicing stress reduction techniques. By taking care of our physical health, we build a foundation that supports our mental and emotional resilience, equipping us to navigate life's challenges with strength and flexibility. In conclusion, physical well-being is an essential pillar of resilience, with the body-mind connection playing a pivotal role in our ability to withstand and grow from adversity. By nurturing our physical health, we not only improve our quality of life but also enhance our capacity to thrive in the face of challenges, illustrating the profound interdependence of our physical and mental resilience. Conclusion As we conclude our exploration of the pillars of resilience, we are reminded of the intricate tapestry that resilience weaves within our lives. Emotional intelligence, social connections, and physical well-being are not just isolated elements but interconnected strands that strengthen our ability to face and flourish amidst life's adversities. These pillars underscore the multifaceted nature of resilience, highlighting the necessity of a holistic approach to nurturing our capacity to thrive. Emotional intelligence teaches us the importance of understanding and managing our emotions, providing a foundation for empathy and effective communication. Through social connections, we are reminded of the strength found in community and the power of belonging. Physical well-being connects us to the undeniable link between our body and mind, emphasizing how our physical health directly impacts our resilience. Together, these pillars form a resilient structure within us, equipping us with the tools necessary to navigate the complexities of life. They remind us that resilience is not a fixed trait but a dynamic skill, one that we can develop and strengthen over time. By fostering these key aspects of resilience, we not only enhance our ability to withstand challenges but also empower ourselves to grow and evolve through them. As we transition into the next chapter, Resilience in the Face of Adversity, we will build upon the foundational pillars discussed here. We will delve deeper into how we can identify and leverage our personal strengths, adopt effective strategies for coping with stress and setbacks, and embrace the transformative power of learning from failure. The journey ahead will challenge us to apply the principles of resilience to real-world scenarios, encouraging us to reflect, adapt, and persevere. The path to resilience is both personal and collective, requiring mindfulness, compassion, and a willingness to engage deeply with our inner and outer worlds. As we continue this journey, let us carry forward the insights and strategies from these foundational pillars, prepared to face adversity with courage, strength, and an open heart. The road ahead is not just about surviving the storms of life but learning how to dance in the rain, equipped with the resilience we've nurtured within ourselves. Chapter 3, Resilience in the Face of Adversity As we explore Chapter 3, we transition from understanding the foundational pillars of resilience to applying these principles directly to our encounters with challenges and setbacks. This chapter aims to equip us with actionable strategies and insights to not only endure but also grow from the adversities we face. The journey of resilience is not about avoiding obstacles but learning how to navigate through them with strength, wisdom, and grace. We begin by exploring the importance of identifying and leveraging personal strengths, a key factor in turning challenges into opportunities for growth. Understanding our unique strengths allows us to approach problems with confidence and creativity, ensuring we are playing to our advantages even in the toughest times. Next, we will examine strategies for coping with stress and setbacks. 
This section offers practical tools and techniques to manage stress effectively, enabling us to maintain our composure and make thoughtful decisions under pressure. By cultivating a toolkit of coping strategies, we prepare ourselves to face adversity with resilience and fortitude. Finally, the power of reflective practice in learning from failure is highlighted. Failure is often seen as a negative outcome, but through the lens of resilience, it is a valuable teacher. Reflective practice helps us to dissect our experiences, learn from our mistakes, and apply these lessons to future challenges. This process not only strengthens our resilience but also accelerates our personal and professional growth. As we navigate through this chapter, we will discover that facing adversity is a crucial component of building resilience. It is in the moments of challenge that we test our resilience, refine our skills, and reinforce our commitment to growth and development. Join us as we explore how to harness the power of adversity to forge a stronger, more resilient self. Identifying and Leveraging Personal Strengths In the landscape of resilience, understanding and utilizing one's personal strengths stands as a beacon of empowerment. Identifying our inherent talents and qualities enables us to navigate through adversity with a sense of purpose and effectiveness. Personal strengths can vary widely among individuals, encompassing a range of skills, attributes, and characteristics that foster resilience in the face of challenges. What are personal strengths? Personal strengths are the unique combination of skills, qualities, and attributes that an individual possesses, which can be harnessed to achieve goals and overcome obstacles. These strengths can be innate or developed over time through experiences, education, and intentional self-improvement. Examples of personal strengths include Creativity, the ability to think outside the box and approach problems from unique perspectives. Empathy, the capacity to understand and share the feelings of others, fostering strong relationships. Determination, a steadfast commitment to achieving goals, even in the face of difficulties. Adaptability, the skill to adjust to new conditions and effectively manage change. Optimism, a positive outlook that enables one to see the potential good in situations and maintain hope for the future. Problem solving, the ability to analyze challenges and devise effective solutions. Leadership, the qualities necessary to inspire and guide others towards a common goal. Emotional intelligence, the capacity to recognize, understand, manage, and use emotions effectively in interpersonal interactions. The process of identifying personal strengths. The journey to identifying personal strengths often begins with introspection and self reflection. Tools such as personality tests, strength finders, and feedback from peers and mentors can provide valuable insights. Journaling about past successes and challenges can also reveal patterns in how one naturally responds to situations, highlighting strengths that may not have been previously recognized. Leveraging strengths to overcome adversity. Once identified, these strengths can be strategically applied to various aspects of life, especially during times of adversity. For example, an individual with strong problem-solving skills might approach a setback as an opportunity to devise creative solutions. Meanwhile, someone with high emotional intelligence might navigate the emotional turbulence of a difficult situation with grace, using their understanding of emotions to foster support and camaraderie among their peers. A real-world application Consider the story of Maria, a project manager faced with a significant setback when her team's key project was suddenly defunded. Leveraging her strengths of leadership and optimism, Maria motivated her team to view this challenge as an opportunity to innovate. She led brainstorming sessions that harnessed the team's collective creativity and adaptability, eventually pivoting the project in a new direction that attracted alternative funding sources. Maria's ability to recognize and utilize her personal strengths and those of her team members turned a potential failure into a success story. Identifying and leveraging personal strengths is a powerful strategy for building resilience in the face of adversity. By understanding and applying our unique talents and qualities, we can navigate life's challenges more effectively and emerge stronger on the other side. As we move forward, we will explore additional strategies for coping with stress and setbacks, further equipping ourselves to thrive amidst adversity. Strategies for coping with stress and setbacks 1. Mindfulness and Meditation Practices that focus on the present moment and foster a non-judgmental awareness of one's thoughts, emotions, and bodily sensations. These techniques can reduce stress levels, enhance emotional regulation, and improve overall mental clarity. 2. Physical exercise, regular physical activity that can significantly lower stress levels, improve mood, enhance sleep quality, and boost self-esteem. Exercise stimulates the production of endorphins, the body's natural painkillers and mood elevators. 
3. Deep breathing techniques, controlled breathing exercises that help slow down the heart rate and reduce blood pressure, promoting relaxation and reducing the physical symptoms of stress. 4. Social support, seeking comfort, advice, or assistance from friends, family, or support groups. Social connections provide a sense of belonging, increase feelings of security, and offer different perspectives on problems. 5. Time management, strategies to organize and prioritize tasks to reduce overwhelm and increase efficiency. Effective time management can alleviate stress by making daily and long-term commitments more manageable. 6. Positive reframing, a cognitive behavioral technique that involves changing the way one thinks about a stressful situation to view it in a more positive or less threatening light. This approach can alter emotional responses to stressors. 7. Setting realistic goals, establishing achievable, measurable objectives that provide direction and a sense of purpose. Achieving these goals can boost confidence and motivation, especially after experiencing setbacks. 8. Journaling, writing down thoughts and feelings to process emotions, reflect on experiences, and clarify goals. Journaling can serve as a therapeutic outlet for expressing and managing stress. 9. Healthy eating habits, consuming a balanced diet rich in nutrients that support brain function and physical health. Proper nutrition can influence mood, energy levels, and the body's ability to cope with stress. 10. Adequate sleep, ensuring sufficient and quality sleep to restore the body and mind. Sleep deprivation can exacerbate stress, while adequate rest can improve problem-solving abilities and emotional resilience. 11. Seeking professional help, consulting with a mental health professional or counselor when coping strategies alone are insufficient. Professional support can offer personalized strategies and therapeutic interventions to manage stress and setbacks effectively. By incorporating these strategies into daily routines, individuals can build a comprehensive toolkit for coping with stress and setbacks, enhancing their resilience in the face of adversity. Learning from Failure – The Power of Reflective Practice Learning from failure through reflective practice is a transformative process that turns setbacks into stepping stones towards success. This method involves a deliberate and structured reflection on one's experiences, decisions, and outcomes to extract valuable lessons and insights. Here is a step-by-step -step example guide to learning from failure using reflective practice. Step 1. Experience and Emotional Processing Example, imagine you've just received feedback that a project you led did not meet the expected outcomes. Initially, you might feel disappointed, frustrated, or even defensive. Action, allow yourself to experience and acknowledge these emotions without judgment. Emotional processing is a crucial first step that prepares you for objective reflection. Step 2. Descriptive Reflection Example, write down a detailed account of the project's process, your decisions, actions taken, and the feedback received. Action, focus on being factual and descriptive, avoiding any analysis or judgment at this stage. This step helps create a clear picture of what happened. Step 3. Critical Reflection Example, now, critically analyze the actions and decisions that led to the project's outcomes. Consider aspects like planning, execution, communication, and response to unforeseen challenges. Action, ask yourself questions like, what could have been done differently, and what were the key turning points? Aim to identify specific areas for improvement without dwelling on self-criticism. Step 4. Synthesis and Insight Example, after identifying the factors that contributed to the project's failure, synthesize this information to gain insights into your strengths and weaknesses. Action, recognize patterns in decision-making or skill gaps that need addressing. This step is about drawing connections between your actions and the outcomes. Step 5. Future Planning Example, with the insights gained, develop a plan for future projects. This might include further training in specific areas, adopting new strategies for project management, or improving communication within the team. Action, set specific, achievable goals for your personal and professional development. This proactive approach turns the lessons learned into actionable steps for growth. Step 6. Implementation and Evaluation Example, apply the strategies and improvements identified in your next project. Pay attention to the changes in process and outcomes. Action, continuously evaluate the effectiveness of these changes, making adjustments as needed. This ongoing process of reflection and adaptation fosters resilience and a positive attitude towards learning from failure. By systematically reflecting on failures and viewing them as opportunities for growth, individuals can cultivate resilience, enhance their skills, and improve their future performance.
Reflective practice is not just about overcoming past setbacks but about building a foundation for lifelong learning and continuous improvement. Conclusion As we wrap up Chapter 3, Resilience in the Face of Adversity, we've journeyed through a transformative process of understanding how to confront and grow from the challenges life throws our way. We've explored the critical importance of identifying and leveraging personal strengths, delved into various strategies for coping with stress and setbacks, and highlighted the profound power of learning from failure through reflective practice. Each section has provided us with valuable tools and insights, not only for enduring difficult times but for using these experiences as catalysts for personal and professional growth. By embracing our unique strengths, we can approach problems with creativity and confidence. Through a comprehensive toolkit for stress management, we're better prepared to maintain our composure under pressure. And by adopting a mindset that sees failure as a teacher, we open ourselves to learning and evolving in ways we might never have imagined. As we transition into Chapter 4, Adapting to Change, we build on the foundation laid in this chapter. The upcoming sections will guide us through navigating life transitions with grace, embracing uncertainty with flexibility, and utilizing creativity and innovation to overcome obstacles. The skills and perspectives we've developed in facing adversity directly feed into our ability to adapt to change. The resilience we foster is not just about bouncing back, it's about moving forward with a deeper understanding of ourselves and an enhanced capacity to shape our destiny. Join us as we continue to explore the dynamic journey of resilience, learning how to adapt and thrive in an ever-changing world. The challenges we face are not just obstacles but opportunities for growth, innovation, and transformation. Chapter 4 Adapting to Change In life, change is not only inevitable but also the only constant. As we navigate through varying landscapes of personal and professional life, our ability to adapt to change becomes a crucial skill for survival and success. This chapter, Adapting to Change, delves into the art and science of embracing change, offering insights and strategies to navigate life transitions with grace, stay flexible amidst uncertainty, and harness creativity and innovation to overcome obstacles. The inevitability of change is a truth as old as time, yet each encounter with change presents new challenges and opportunities. Scientific research underscores the myriad benefits for individuals who cultivate an adaptability to change. These benefits span psychological well-being, career success, and personal growth. People who are adept at adapting to change tend to exhibit higher levels of resilience, exhibit greater satisfaction in their personal and professional lives, and possess a heightened capacity for creative problem-solving. They are better equipped to manage stress, mitigate the impacts of unexpected events, and seize opportunities that arise from new situations. The foundation of this adaptability lies in understanding the nature of change as both a challenge and an opportunity. Changes, whether chosen or imposed, can disrupt our sense of stability but also prompt growth and innovation. The capacity to adapt is rooted in a mindset that views change not as a threat but as a catalyst for development. This perspective is supported by findings in psychology and neuroscience, which reveal that our brains are capable of remarkable plasticity and adaptation, enabling us to learn new skills, form new habits, and adjust our behaviors in response to changing circumstances. As we embark on the exploration of adapting to change, we will uncover strategies for navigating life transitions with grace, such as understanding the psychological phases of transition, developing coping mechanisms for managing the stress associated with change, and finding meaning and purpose in new beginnings. We will also delve into the importance of embracing uncertainty, discussing how flexibility and openness to the unknown can become powerful tools for navigating the unpredictable nature of life. Finally, we will explore how creativity and innovation can be leveraged as essential resources for overcoming obstacles and turning challenges into opportunities. This chapter aims to equip you with the knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary to thrive in a world where change is the only certainty. By understanding the benefits of being good at change and embracing the strategies outlined, you can transform your experience of change from one of fear and resistance to one of growth and opportunity. Join us as we learn to adapt with grace, embrace uncertainty with confidence, and innovate our way through the obstacles change may bring. Navigating Life Transitions with Grace Life transitions, whether expected or unexpected, can be significant turning points that profoundly impact our sense of self, our routines, and our outlook on life. These transitions might include career changes, moving to a new city, entering or leaving a relationship, or adjusting to new life stages such as parenthood or retirement. 
Navigating these transitions with grace involves a blend of acceptance, adaptability, and proactive engagement, enabling us to move through these periods not just with resilience but with a sense of growth and fulfillment. Understanding the Nature of Transitions Transitions often bring a mix of emotions, from excitement and hope to fear and uncertainty. Recognizing that these emotions are a natural response to change is the first step in navigating transitions with grace. It's important to acknowledge and allow yourself to experience these feelings without judgment as they are part of the process of adapting to new circumstances. Strategies for Graceful Transitions Embrace the transition, accept that change is a part of life and that transitions offer opportunities for growth and new experiences. By embracing the transition, you shift your mindset from one of resistance to one of openness and curiosity. Seek support, leverage your social network for support during transitions. Friends, family, mentors, and professional counselors can provide valuable perspectives, advice, and emotional support. Maintain routines. While much may be changing, maintaining certain routines can provide a sense of stability and normalcy. Identify key routines that ground you and make an effort to keep them consistent. Set realistic expectations. Understand that transitions often come with a period of adjustment and that it's normal to feel out of place or uncomfortable at first. Setting realistic expectations can help mitigate feelings of frustration and impatience. Stay flexible. Flexibility is key in navigating transitions smoothly. Be open to adjusting your plans and expectations as you learn more about your new situation and what it requires of you. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself during transitions. Recognize that it's okay to not have all the answers and to feel uncertain. Self-compassion fosters resilience and the ability to bounce back from challenges. Reflect and re-evaluate. Take time to reflect on your experiences, what you've learned about yourself, and how you've grown. This reflection can offer insights that guide your actions and decisions as you move forward. An example of navigating transition with grace. Consider the case of Alex, who recently transitioned from a long-standing career in corporate finance to launching a startup. Despite the excitement of pursuing a dream, Alex faced significant stress from the uncertainty and the steep learning curve. By embracing the transition, seeking mentorship, maintaining exercise routines, and practicing self-compassion during setbacks, Alex managed to navigate the transition with grace. This approach allowed Alex to adapt more quickly, learn from the challenges, and ultimately find fulfillment in the new venture. Navigating life transitions with grace is not about avoiding the discomfort that comes with change but about engaging with it in a way that promotes growth, learning, and resilience. By adopting a positive, flexible, and proactive approach to transitions, we can move through them with confidence and grace, emerging stronger and more adaptable on the other side. Embracing Uncertainty – Strategies for Staying Flexible In a world that is constantly evolving, uncertainty is a given. However, the way we respond to uncertainty can significantly influence our well-being and success. Embracing uncertainty is not about passively accepting whatever life throws our way but about cultivating a mindset and strategies that enable us to stay flexible and responsive to change. This section explores practical strategies for staying flexible amidst uncertainty, turning potential anxiety and fear into opportunities for growth and innovation. Cultivate a Growth Mindset Strategy View challenges as opportunities for learning rather than insurmountable obstacles. A growth mindset encourages curiosity and openness, key attributes for staying flexible in the face of uncertainty. Develop scenario planning. Strategy Consider various potential outcomes and plan for different scenarios. This proactive approach can reduce anxiety about the unknown and prepare you to pivot as needed. Practice mindfulness and presence. Strategy Focus on the present moment rather than worrying about future uncertainties. Mindfulness practices can help reduce stress and enhance your capacity to respond to changes with calm and clarity. Strengthen emotional agility. Strategy Cultivate the ability to navigate your emotions healthily and adaptively. Recognizing, labeling, and accepting your feelings can empower you to move through uncertainty without being overwhelmed. Foster adaptability skills. Strategy. Prioritize learning new skills and staying current with trends in your field or interests. Versatility is a valuable asset when facing unforeseen changes or challenges. Maintain a support network. Strategy. Build and nurture relationships that provide emotional support and practical advice. A strong support network can offer diverse perspectives and resources during times of uncertainty. Engage in continuous learning. Strategy. Embrace lifelong learning as a way to enhance your adaptability. 
Keeping your knowledge and skills up to date can boost your confidence in navigating uncertain situations. Implement stress reduction techniques. Strategy. Use stress management practices such as exercise, deep breathing, or relaxation techniques to maintain your equilibrium. Managing stress effectively is crucial for maintaining flexibility under pressure. Stay open to new experiences. Strategy. Be willing to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Openness to new experiences can enhance your adaptability and resilience. By integrating these strategies into your daily life, you can build a robust framework for embracing uncertainty. This approach not only mitigates the anxiety and stress that often accompany the unknown but also positions you to seize opportunities and navigate life's twists and turns with confidence and grace. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate uncertainty, that would be impossible, but to develop the flexibility and resilience needed to thrive in its midst. The Role of Creativity and Innovation in Overcoming Obstacles In the journey of adapting to change, creativity and innovation emerge as powerful allies. They enable us to see beyond the immediate challenges, envisioning solutions that might not be apparent through conventional thinking. Creativity and innovation are not just about artistic endeavors or technological breakthroughs, they're about a mindset that embraces experimentation, curiosity, and the willingness to explore new possibilities. This mindset is crucial for overcoming obstacles and turning them into opportunities for growth and advancement. Creativity as a problem-solving tool Creativity involves thinking in new and novel ways to address challenges. It's about looking at problems from different angles and finding unique solutions that bypass the obvious. Creativity encourages us to ask, what if, and a why not, pushing the boundaries of our usual thought processes. This approach can lead to groundbreaking solutions that significantly alter our approach to obstacles. Innovation through adaptation Innovation, closely linked with creativity, is the practical application of creative ideas. It's about implementing these new solutions in ways that effectively address the challenge at hand. In the context of personal and professional growth, innovation might involve adapting existing methods to new contexts, combining disparate ideas in novel ways, or inventing entirely new processes that better suit the current needs. Strategies for Cultivating Creativity and Innovation Diverse experiences seek out new experiences and perspectives. Exposure to different ideas and ways of thinking can spark creativity and lead to innovative solutions. Question and explore, don't take things at face value. Ask questions, delve deeper, and explore alternatives. This curiosity can uncover new paths through challenges. Embrace failure, view failures as opportunities to learn and grow. Each attempt provides valuable insights that can guide future innovations. Collaborate, engage with others to broaden your perspective. Collaboration can bring together diverse skills and ideas, leading to more creative and effective solutions. Take breaks, allow time for rest and reflection. Breaks can help your mind process information in the background, leading to creative insights. Experiment, be willing to try out new ideas, even if they seem unconventional. Experimentation is key to discovering what works and what doesn't. Real-world application. Consider the example of Elena, who faced significant obstacles in expanding her small business due to unforeseen market changes. By employing creativity and innovation, she reimagined her business model to focus on online sales and virtual consultations, a move that not only addressed the immediate challenge but also opened up new avenues for growth. Elena's willingness to innovate transformed a potential setback into a stepping stone for success. The role of creativity and innovation in overcoming obstacles is invaluable. These capacities enable us to adapt to change not just with resilience but with a proactive stance that seeks out opportunities for improvement and growth. By fostering a creative and innovative mindset, we prepare ourselves to navigate the uncertainties of change with confidence, turning challenges into catalysts for development and success. Conclusion As we conclude our journey through adapting to change, it's evident that the landscapes of both our personal and professional lives are ever-evolving. Embracing change is not merely about survival, it's about thriving in an environment that is constantly shifting. This chapter has equipped us with valuable insights and strategies to navigate life's transitions with grace, maintain flexibility in the face of uncertainty, and leverage creativity and innovation to turn obstacles into avenues for growth. Change, while inevitable, offers a canvas on which we can paint our resilience. The ability to adapt, with agility and grace, determines the quality of our journey and the depth of our fulfillment. 
We've seen that those who thrive in the face of change share common traits, a growth mindset, an unwavering curiosity, and an innovative spirit. These traits enable individuals to view change not as a barrier but as a gateway to new opportunities. As we move forward, let us carry with us the lessons learned from this chapter. Let us embrace change with open arms, knowing that within every challenge lies the seed of opportunity. Let us be flexible, allowing the currents of change to guide us to new horizons. And let us be creative and innovative, using our ingenuity to navigate and overcome the obstacles we encounter. Looking ahead to Chapter 5, Building a Resilient Mindset, we will delve deeper into the psychological aspects that underpin our ability to withstand and emerge stronger from adversity. We will explore the importance of cultivating optimism and hope, overcoming fear and resistance to change, and setting goals and taking action as a path forward. This next chapter will build on the foundations laid in adapting to change, providing us with the tools to not only navigate change, but to also foster an inner resilience that propels us through life's ups and downs. Change is a constant companion on our journey through life. By mastering the art of adaptation, we prepare ourselves for whatever the future holds, turning the unknown into a landscape of possibilities. Let us move forward with confidence, creativity, and a resilient mindset, ready to embrace the changes that come our way and transform them into opportunities for growth and success. Chapter 5 Building a Resilient Mindset In our journey through life's unpredictable ebbs and flows, the strength of our mindset plays a crucial role in not just surviving, but thriving. Chapter 5, Building a Resilient Mindset, delves into the foundational elements that fortify our inner resilience, enabling us to face adversity with courage and emerge from challenges stronger and wiser. This chapter is dedicated to cultivating the mental fortitude required to navigate the complexities of life with optimism, overcome the natural human tendencies of fear and resistance to change, and proactively set and pursue meaningful goals. At the heart of a resilient mindset lies the ability to maintain a positive outlook, cultivating optimism and hope even in the face of difficulties. This optimism is not about naive wishful thinking but about a steadfast belief in our capacity to adapt and find meaningful pathways forward. It's about seeing beyond the immediate obstacles and envisioning a future where challenges are surmounted and growth is achieved. Moreover, this chapter addresses the critical task of overcoming fear and resistance to change, a natural response to the unknown that can stifle our potential and hinder our progress. By acknowledging these fears and developing strategies to confront and move beyond them, we empower ourselves to embrace change as an opportunity for development and renewal. Finally, we turn our focus towards the proactive steps of setting goals and taking action. A resilient mindset is characterized by forward momentum, a commitment to personal growth, and the determination to turn aspirations into reality. This section provides practical guidance on how to articulate clear, achievable goals and outlines the steps necessary to pursue them with persistence and resilience. As we explore these fundamental aspects of building a resilient mindset, we equip ourselves with the tools not only to withstand the storms of life but to navigate through them with purpose and agency. Join us in this chapter as we embark on a transformative journey towards cultivating a mindset that embraces optimism, overcomes fear, and moves confidently towards the future. Cultivating Optimism and Hope In the fabric of resilience, optimism and hope are threads that bind together the ability to face life's adversities with strength and determination. Cultivating these qualities is not about denying the reality of challenges or hardships but about fostering a belief in the possibility of positive outcomes despite them. This section explores how nurturing optimism and hope can significantly impact our resilience, enabling us to approach life's challenges with a proactive and positive mindset. Understanding Optimism and Hope Optimism involves expecting the best possible outcome from any given situation and focusing on the most positive aspects of life. It's a tendency to maintain a positive outlook on the future, even in the face of difficulty. Hope, closely related to optimism, is the belief that circumstances will get better and that we have the power to make them so. It's about looking forward to the future with a sense of possibility and expectation. Benefits of Optimism and Hope The benefits of cultivating these qualities are profound and far-reaching. Optimism and hope can enhance our mental and physical well-being, improve our relationships, increase our resilience to stress, and contribute to longer, happier lives. They enable us to persevere through setbacks and maintain motivation toward achieving our goals. Strategies for Cultivating Optimism and Hope Practice gratitude. Regularly acknowledging and appreciating what's positive in your life can shift your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant, fostering optimism and hope. 
Reframe challenges. Instead of viewing obstacles as insurmountable problems, see them as opportunities for growth and learning. This perspective shift can nurture a hopeful outlook on overcoming difficulties. Set achievable goals. Having clear, achievable goals gives you something positive to look forward to and work towards, which can sustain your optimism and hope. Cultivate a supportive network. Surround yourself with positive, supportive people who encourage your hopes and dreams. A strong social support system can amplify your sense of optimism. Engage in positive self-talk, challenge pessimistic thoughts and replace them with positive affirmations. How you talk to yourself can significantly influence your mindset. Visualize positive outcomes. Spend time visualizing successful scenarios and positive outcomes. Visualization can bolster your belief in the possibility of a hopeful future. Maintain perspective. When faced with challenges, try to keep them in perspective. Remembering past successes and how you've overcome obstacles can reinforce your optimism and hope. Real-life application. Consider the story of Jordan, who faced a significant career setback when a long-awaited promotion was given to someone else. Instead of succumbing to disappointment, Jordan chose to view the situation as an opportunity to reassess career goals and explore new possibilities. By practicing gratitude for the skills acquired, reframing the setback as a chance for growth, and setting new, achievable goals, Jordan cultivated a sense of optimism and hope. This positive outlook opened up new avenues for professional development that were previously unconsidered, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling career path. Cultivating optimism and hope is a dynamic and active process that can significantly enhance your resilience. By integrating these strategies into your daily life, you can build a resilient mindset that not only navigates adversity with grace but also sees beyond the present challenges to a future filled with potential and promise. Overcoming fear and resistance to change Change, while a constant in life, often brings about fear and resistance. This instinctual response can be a significant barrier to growth and adaptation. Understanding how to navigate and overcome these reactions is crucial for cultivating a resilient mindset. This section delves into strategies for addressing fear and resistance, empowering us to embrace change with confidence and openness. Acknowledging Fear and Resistance The first step in overcoming fear and resistance is to acknowledge their presence. Fear often stems from the unknown or the possibility of negative outcomes, while resistance may arise from a desire to maintain comfort and familiarity. Recognizing these feelings as natural responses allows us to address them more constructively. Strategies for Overcoming Fear and Resistance Identify the source of fear. Understanding what specifically triggers your fear or resistance can help you address it more effectively. Is it fear of failure, loss of control, or something else? Educate yourself. Fear often diminishes in the light of knowledge. Learning more about the change or challenge ahead can demystify it and reduce the intimidation factor. Start small, take incremental steps towards embracing change. Small victories can build confidence and reduce the overwhelming feeling change often brings. Focus on what you can control. Change can make us feel powerless, but focusing on aspects within our control can empower and reduce anxiety. Visualize success. Instead of fixating on potential negative outcomes, visualize positive scenarios and successful adaptation to change. This can shift your mindset to one of possibility and opportunity. Seek support. Sharing your fears and concerns with trusted friends, family, or mentors can provide new perspectives, encouragement, and coping strategies. Reflect on past successes. Remind yourself of times you've successfully navigated change or overcome obstacles in the past. This can boost your confidence in handling current challenges. Embrace a growth mindset. View challenges and changes as opportunities for personal growth and learning. A growth mindset encourages resilience and adaptability. Practical Application Imagine you're facing a significant career shift that requires moving to a new city. The change triggers fear and resistance due to uncertainty about the new environment and the loss of your support network. By identifying specific fears, e.g., isolation, not adapting, seeking information about the new city, and taking small steps to build a new support system online before moving, you can begin to mitigate these fears. Visualizing the positive aspects of the change, such as career growth and the opportunity to meet new people, can also shift your perspective. Reflecting on past successes in adapting to new situations can further bolster your confidence. Overcoming fear and resistance to change is a vital component of building a resilient mindset. By employing these strategies, we can transform our approach to change from one of apprehension and avoidance to one of anticipation and engagement. 
This shift not only enables us to navigate life's inevitable changes more effectively but also opens us up to new possibilities and opportunities for growth. Setting Goals and Taking Action – The Path Forward Setting goals and taking decisive action toward achieving them are fundamental steps in forging a path forward, especially in the context of building resilience. Goals give direction, purpose, and a sense of achievement as we navigate life's challenges. However, the journey from setting to achieving goals is fraught with obstacles, as evidenced by the common struggle with New Year's resolutions. Understanding Goals Goals are specific, actionable targets that individuals set to achieve desired outcomes. They can range from short-term objectives to long-term aspirations and serve as milestones for personal and professional development. Goals are essential for progress and motivation, providing a roadmap for action and decision-making. Why People Fail Their New Year's Resolutions A significant majority of New Year's resolutions fail due to several common pitfalls. Lack of specificity, vague goals such as get healthy or save money lack the detail necessary for action and measurement. Unrealistic expectations, overly ambitious goals can lead to frustration and demotivation when they are not quickly or easily achieved. Insufficient planning, without a clear plan of action, it's challenging to start or maintain momentum toward achieving a goal. Lack of accountability, without someone to share your progress with or hold you accountable, it's easy to lose focus or give up. Waning motivation, initial enthusiasm can fade over time without regular reminders of why the goal is important. Smart goals. To address these challenges, the SMART criteria offer a framework for setting effective goals. Specific, clearly define what you want to achieve, including who, what, where, and why. Measurable, ensure that your goal is quantifiable to track progress and know when you've achieved it. Achievable, your goal should be realistic and attainable to foster motivation. Relevant, make sure the goal is important to you and aligns with your values and long-term objectives. Timebound, set a deadline to create a sense of urgency and help prioritize tasks. Pros and cons of SMART goals Pros Clarity, provides a clear direction and focus. Motivation, achievable and timebound elements boost motivation. Accountability, measurable aspects allow for tracking progress. Cons Potential for rigidity, may not allow for flexibility in response to changing circumstances or new information. Creativity constraints, overly specific goals could limit creative approaches to problem-solving. Overemphasis on short-term, the need for goals to be achievable and time-bound might focus too much on short-term gains at the expense of long-term vision. Practical application. Consider Elena, who sets a New Year's resolution to be more productive. To apply the SMART criteria, she specifies her goal to dedicate two uninterrupted hours each morning to high-priority projects. She tracks her progress with a time management app, aims for a realistic start by gradually increasing her focused work time, ensures the goal aligns with her career advancement plans, and sets a one-month deadline to establish this new habit. By reflecting on the goal's relevance and adjusting her approach as needed, Elena maintains flexibility while staying committed to her overarching aspiration of enhancing productivity. Integrating the 12-Week Year the 12 week year, a concept developed by Brian P. Moran and Michael Lennington, challenges the traditional annual goal setting framework by compressing it into 12 weeks. This approach is based on the idea that shorter time frames create a sense of urgency and clarity, which in turn heightens focus and productivity. By breaking down yearly goals into quarterly chunks, individuals and teams can achieve more in less time, thanks to the intensified planning, execution, and tracking. Breaking down smart goals with the 12 week year. Enhanced specificity and time-bound elements, the 12-week year compels you to dissect your yearly SMART goals into more detailed, quarterly objectives. This specificity aligns with the SMART criteria's emphasis on clear, well-defined goals, while the shortened timeline fosters a sense of immediacy that can spur action. Increased measurability and accountability, by setting quarterly goals, you can track progress more frequently and adjust strategies as needed. This regular evaluation fosters a higher level of accountability, both to oneself and to others, such as mentors or accountability partners. Maintaining relevance and achievability, the 12-week year encourages regular reassessment of your goals to ensure they remain relevant to your evolving priorities and circumstances. This adaptability makes it easier to maintain realistic and achievable objectives, even as you push for ambitious outcomes. Application example with the 12-week year. Building on Elena's goal to be more productive, the 12-week year method would have her further break down this annual resolution into a series of 12-week goals. 
For instance, her first 12-week goal might focus on establishing and solidifying the habit of dedicating two uninterrupted hours each morning to high-priority tasks. To support this goal, Elena could set weekly milestones, such as identifying the week's priority tasks every Sunday evening and gradually decreasing other morning activities that compete for her attention. This approach allows for more frequent feedback loops and adjustments, keeping Elena motivated and on track. The division of the year into four 12-week years also means that Elena can set and achieve several sequential or varying goals throughout the year, adapting her focus as her productivity improves or as new priorities emerge. Pros and Cons of Integrating Smart Goals with the 12-Week Year Pros Increased focus and momentum. The urgency of a 12-week timeline keeps goals at the forefront of your mind, driving sustained focus and effort. Flexibility and responsiveness. Shorter cycles allow for quicker adjustments in response to feedback or changes in circumstances. Enhanced achievement and satisfaction. The potential for achieving four significant objectives annually can boost motivation and satisfaction. Cons. Potential for burnout. The continuous intensity required might lead to burnout if not managed with periodic rest and reflection. Risk of short-term focus. While not a flaw of the method itself, without careful planning, there's a risk of prioritizing short-term achievements over long-term vision. By applying the 12-week year to your SMART goals, you not only refine your objectives into more actionable tasks but also benefit from a framework that encourages rapid progress and adaptability. This method complements the process of building a resilient mindset by embedding principles of focus, execution, and continuous improvement into the very fabric of your goal-setting and achievement process. Conclusion As we conclude Chapter 5, Building a Resilient Mindset, we've embarked on a comprehensive journey through the core aspects essential for cultivating a mindset equipped to embrace life's myriad challenges and changes. We've explored the power of optimism and hope, the significance of overcoming fear and resistance to change, and the critical role of setting goals and taking action. Each of these components interlaces to form a resilient mindset that not only withstands adversity but thrives in the face of it. This chapter has underscored that resilience is not a static trait but a dynamic skill set that can be developed and nurtured. Through cultivating optimism, confronting fears, and setting actionable goals, we prepare ourselves to navigate the complexities of life with agility and strength. The integration of the SMART goals framework and the 12-week year concept further enhances our ability to transform aspirations into tangible achievements, emphasizing the importance of clarity, urgency, and adaptability in our pursuit of personal and professional growth. As we move forward, remember that building a resilient mindset is an ongoing process, one that requires patience, persistence, and a willingness to continuously learn and adapt. The strategies and insights shared in this chapter are not just theoretical concepts but practical tools designed to empower you on your journey toward resilience. Let them guide you as you face future challenges, embrace change, and pursue your goals with determination and optimism. With the foundation of a resilient mindset, you are now equipped to navigate the path ahead with confidence and grace. As we transition to the conclusion of this book, let us carry forward the lessons learned and the strength cultivated, ready to apply them to whatever lies ahead on our journey of growth and resilience. Conclusion, Thriving in a World of Change As we reach the conclusion of our journey together, it's clear that the landscape of our lives is ever-evolving, punctuated by both predictable rhythms and unforeseeable shifts, this book has sought to equip you with the insights, strategies, and mindset necessary to not just navigate but thrive amidst these tides of change. Resilience, as we've discovered, is far more than a mere tool for survival. It is a way of being, a profound approach to life that empowers us to face adversity with grace, adaptability, and an unwavering strength. Embrace resilience as your compass. Let resilience be your compass in this world of constant change. Remember, it's not a static quality to be summoned in moments of challenge and then set aside. Rather, resilience is a dynamic, living practice that weaves through every aspect of our lives, informing how we approach both our highest peaks and our deepest valleys. It is about cultivating a core of inner strength that supports us in bouncing back and forward, with an open heart and a clear mind. Action Steps for a Resilient Life To truly thrive, take proactive steps towards embedding resilience into your daily life. Set aside time for reflection, engage in practices that nurture your physical and mental well-being, and approach each day with intention. Embrace the strategies outlined in this book, from cultivating optimism and hope to setting and pursuing meaningful goals. Remember, the act of moving towards your goals, however small the steps, is a powerful affirmation of your resilience. The Role of Self-Compassion 
In your journey towards resilience, self-compassion is your most faithful ally. It is the gentle reminder that being hard on yourself serves no purpose other than to diminish your strength. Self-compassion is about recognizing your humanity, that like everyone else, you are doing the best you can with the resources and knowledge available to you at any given moment. It means offering yourself kindness in moments of failure, patience in times of growth, and understanding during periods of stagnation. When we approach ourselves with compassion, we unlock a wellspring of resilience, enabling us to meet life's challenges with a balanced heart and mind. A Call to Action As you close this book, consider this not an end but a beginning. The path ahead is yours to shape, with resilience as your guide and self-compassion as your light. Embrace change with curiosity and openness, knowing that each transition is an opportunity for growth. Share your journey with others, for resilience is not just a personal endeavor but a collective one, enriched by the stories and support we offer each other. Thriving in a world of change In a world that often feels precarious, your ability to adapt and flourish is a testament to the human spirit's indomitable strength. Remember, thriving in times of change is not about avoiding the storms but learning to dance in the rain, with resilience as your rhythm and self-compassion as your melody. Let this book be a companion on your journey, a source of encouragement and a reminder of your innate capacity to overcome, adapt, and thrive. The road ahead is rich with potential for growth, for joy, for unimagined possibilities. Walk it with resilience, grace, and an open heart. The world is changing and so are you, beautifully and resiliently, one step at a time.